One nice feature at the Dubai airport is they, uh, they use biometric identity, smart gates. It's a retina scan. All you have to do is be registered and then you can use these lines rather than the long lines over there. Just walk in and put your passport in. Here's a couple more tips when you visit Dubai. On your way out of the airport, you've picked up baggage claim. We're in the baggage claim area. Stop by the duty-free area where you can buy alcohol, wine, mostly wine and liquor, at USA average retail prices. It's very hard to find inside the city, but get all you want here and carry it to, out of the airport and to your hotel. Another tip is same places where there's ATM machines, and a currency exchange. And in the middle here is uh, uh, what we got this time was Virgin Mobile SIM cards. I don't know if you've ever gotten SIM cards while you travel, but that's the way to do it. You get all kinds of data for about 25 or 30 bucks instead of uh, paying your local USA based carrier international fees. We've left the baggage claim area here at Dubai Airport. Uh, we're heading for a taxi cab stand, but on the way there is uh, the airport or the uh, car rental desks. And at the beginning end of the car rental lineup is a company called Edisalat. That's the other major SIM, or that's the major SIM card uh, wireless carrier in, in uh, Dubai. So we've had an Edisalat card before, uh, but here's one of the problems. There's a line there, and uh, and we've had trouble with the language on the helpline and the language at the desk because they don't all speak English and uh, this time we got Virgin Mobile back by the duty free and it, it was fantastic. They had a nice convenient app so we, uh, we recommend Virgin Mobile. We're now inside the terminal just outside where the taxi cabs pick up. There's a very organized queue out there of several lanes of cabs. The line forms or it continues outside but if you're here at rush hour, they've got all these lines to very well regulate all the taxi. There's a view from our hotel, same hotel as last year, and uh, the biggest development is the uh, Ferris wheel uh, that they has finished being built for the Dubai 2020. Uh, it's modeled after the London Eye. And uh, that whole area over there was just a pot, bunch of construction cranes. Now it's uh, fully built. And uh, what's really interesting is these little uh, martini dish shaped things. I think that's a decorative feature, but they almost look like satellite dishes pointed to the sky. The other thing that's really noticeable here, that little spiral on the right is new. Apparently they lunch, they, they pick, a, pick you up in a seats and you have drinks up there or you can even eat a meal up in the top of that thing all these uh, developments along the beach are much more advanced last year they had a camel and a couple of beach chairs <laughs> this year it's uh, much more developed and then far down in the distance if you can barely see the black circles in the water on the other side of the bridge i don't think you can there's five different uh, loops of aquaculture down there and the farther distance is the uh, port, you see all the unloading cranes. And then right around the corner is uh, where they're building another new hotel, just adding to the length of the strip. Nice and getting better. Here's a view of the Marina Beach skyline. All the uh, beach development that's uh, gone on since we were here. Lots of uh, beachfront activities that uh, are kind of new. All kinds of boats for the kids. And there's the, uh, the, uh, the the London Eye fashioned needle being made for Dubai 2020. And these radar looking things, I just don't know what the heck they are. 
I think they light up at night, as I recall from last year. We'll have to wait and see. Then coming over to the mainland, look at this. There's like a dozen construction cranes there building more stuff. Last year those were all out on the island. And there's the uh, double tree. We'll be staying there uh, a couple of days from now. I finally figured out those giant martini glass satellite dish things out on the island do in fact light up at night. In fact, they provide a beautiful evening light show. Uh, and way over on the right, you can also see the Atlantis Hotel at the uh, top end of the palm lit up too. We're staying in the Dubai Marina District, and here's why it's called the Marina District. Behind the ocean front, or the front of the Persian Gulf, I should say, is this uh, waterway that runs behind the strip of hotels where all the boats are. And along here are lots of tourist boats heading out into the Persian Gulf. Uh, there's all the construction cranes that we've seen before. And that tall one there is the double tree. The rest of these buildings are the uh, Jumeirah Beach residence hotels or residences. Alex lives in one of them. And we're staying in another one. Here we are at the Dubai Marina Yacht Club. I was here last year and it was a nice enough building that it had been abandoned. They're just starting demolition. Now they're constructing something better. The guy's coming right for me. Don't dump it. And uh, as soon as uh, they get that built, you can get yourself a membership and then come out here and uh, take your pleasure boat on a nice little cruise into the uh, Persian Gulf. Sounds like a good time. Here's my favorite car so far. Looks like we got a Bentley. Gotta love that paint job though, huh? There's a more traditional Bentley. Except it's an SUV. Looks just like our pilot. Hey, we're just getting started on our trip to uh, Dubai and Jordan and Oman to go visit our son in the Middle East. And we're flying on Air Emirates, which uh, we've done a couple times before now, and it's fantastic every time. The best part about flying Emirates is the flights are not fully loaded. You know, American carriers are always jammed to the gills. You get your one seat and you got to fight with it. This one, we got plenty of leg room, but not only that, the back section of the plane is almost empty. I got myself a whole empty row here. See the three rows on the other side, three seats on the other side are empty. If you look farther back, there's lots and lots of empty seats. People have been coming back here uh, claiming the empty rows, uh, which uh, that was us last time, until we figured this is the deal, and you? We, we got seats back here right away. So uh, we'll have a good night's sleep. Arrive in Dubai 13 hours from now, be ready to go to sleep again. Should be a nice vacation. Bye.